الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين إن القرآن الله سبحانه وتعالى provided فرو with some good advice so the people who were living in the times of فرو many time provided him with advice maybe they Maybe he changed his life, the direction of his life, and obey Moses. You know that Pharaoh was one of the family of Moses, the great prophet. But he violated him, violated the wine law, and prevent himself from giving zakat, or prevent, refrain himself from obeying God. Quran reported some of the advices that people used to give to Pharaoh. إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ قَوْمُهُ لَا تَفْرَحْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْفَرَحِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says His people, some of the people in His country used to say to Pharaoh, O Pharaoh, do not please with your wrong deeds. Do not be pride. If you do so, Allah will, will not love you. Allah hate you. Allah dislike those who love themselves and love their positions or they are pride. The second advice that the people provided their own with it is reported in Quran as this. وَاتَّبِئْ فِي مَا آتَاكَ اللَّهَ الْآخِرَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask you to follow the ways to reach the hereafter, do not lose it. Why you behave or govern in a way that lead you astray from the right path? Why you commit sins? Why you violate Moses that <clears throat> make you lose the akhirah, lose the hereafter? So the people asked him, behave in a way that you do not lose the akhirah. So it is a lesson for us that our life should be in a way that we do not lose the hereafter. Because hereafter is the fact that we will go and we will see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked us to do so. The third advice is that, وَلَا تَنْسَ نَسِيبُكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا when we say, behave in a way that you do not lose the akhirah, it doesn't mean we as a human being, we shouldn't use from the gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. No. In this verse, it is said that, do not forget your share in the dunya, in the world, because we as a human being need health, need shelter, need food, need whatever is needed for life. As much as it is necessary, Allah asks us to follow, to gain. But we mustn't exceed the necessities. We mustn't gain much wealth. As much as it is necessary for us and for our family, it is a kind of ibadah. The other advice was that, وَحْسِنْ كَمَا أَحْسَنَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكِ Do good, be good with the people, with the environment, with everybody as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is good with you. Allah has created you, showed mercy to you and provided you with everything. So we should do as, as the same as God has done to us. So we should be good to all the people.